I am proud to be a Nigerian because of so many reasons. I think there is no other person more qualified to say he's a Nigerian than myself. I am Igbo. My parents hail from Anambra State. But I was bred in Lagos. And I've come to understand that what it means to be Nigerian is to appreciate our unity and diversity. It makes us so rich. It makes us so wonderful as a people. Everywhere across, across the globe, no other country has so many cultures in one homogeneous entity than Nigeria. And yet these cultures cohabit peacefully. Our traditions, our responsibilities as a nation, the young persons we have, the persons with me on this stage, tell me, show me why I should love Nigeria. The belief I have in the country, I believe that Nigeria is everything. Nigeria is the dream. There's no need for us to believe in the American dream. We can have our own Nigerian dream. And that is why I indeed love Nigeria. Mr. Itayo. Yes. Your question is this. How do you protect the image and integrity of your family through your conduct? I protect the image and, and the image and integrity of my family through my conduct. Like I've always been I always try as much as possible to be the best as I I always try as much as possible to be the best that I can be. This is because anytime I achieve anything, my, anytime anytime I achieve anything, I actually bring glory to the name of my family. Like for instance, me being here, I know a lot of people a lot of people are looking at me and I'm actually very, very happy that I'm, that I'm actually very, very happy that I'm pro, I'm, pro, I'm I'm lifting the image of my of my family. This, a, a good name is very, very important. A good name is even, has even been said to be better than riches and gold. Okay. Please tell us in the next one minute of your experience on your way to Abuja. Well, my experience was a bit stressful because during the course of the journey, there was a time I was experiencing stomach ache and the road was bad. Actually, the road was bad. Um, a, lo a long distance, we experienced potholes and all that. So for, the, for most of the time, I was actually feeling very uncomfortable. There was even a time I was feeling I was going to vomit or something, but after some time, it got better. But on the way, I was trying to observe the things around me. I was trying to observe every state we got to, look at the things that are there. The most important is the confluence um, place in Kogi State. I observed the rivers. I've seen that before, but it was my second time. So it was another opportunity to see, to look around. And then I got to... Right. Now, we would like to know a little bit more about your lifestyle. So in the next 60 seconds, please tell us as much as you possibly can about Elizabeth's lifestyle. Yeah, thank you. My name is Matthew Elizabeth. Well, I'm a female, as everybody can see. Uh, I'm very, very outspoken. And if I'm to describe myself in three words, I would say I'm calm, I'm composed, and I'm confident. Um, I love the color white because it symbolizes peace. I love the color so much that you hardly see me outside without the traces of white on me. Then whenever you see me, I'm, I'm very lively to be with. I'm jovial, I'm interesting. And everybody, anybody that meets me for the first time will definitely want to be my friend because I'm very jovial. And something about me is if I have a target, if I set a goal in front of me, I make sure I get to it. I make sure there is nothing that stops me. And I, I make sure to tell, I, I try to tell myself that whatever I deserve, I really deserve it. And I will never let anybody, anybody to tell me that I, I don't deserve that. I will always go for whatever I want with a full mind. What was your experience during the state selection of contestants on the air apparent on Saturday the 25th? Of September 2010. No, that, that day precisely, well, I was scored the, 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 some few minutes, some few minutes to the time of the uh, show audition, audition. So I was surprised that I, 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 I was surprised that how can I be called on some few minutes? I even forgot about the contest. That I, I was thinking maybe I will, I will not be called. I said, God, definitely you have a plan for me to, to be in this pro, to be in this program. I quickly rushed up, just put on my put on my jeans and a t-shirt. Wow, I have to be here. I have to be here. When I when I got there, they said, "Why are you late?" I said, "I'm sorry. You just called me some few minutes ago. I'm the guy you called some few minutes ago, and I'm here to do some things." What are your dislikes? I hate to um, I hate to be taken for a ride anyway. I the kind of person who loves to respect people and believe that they should respect me the same way I accord them, you know, similar respect. Okay, and then I. Do not exactly like people who would, who are not serious minded, you know, who cannot tell when it's time to play and when it's time to work. You know, you find that too many people 
just take everything, you know, to be a joke. Tomorrow in Nigeria, there are two seasons, the dry and the rainy seasons. Which one do you prefer and why? Thank you very much. I prefer the rainy season because rain brings drop of water from the sky and that makes the agricultural land that we have, which is very good, rich agricultural land that we have in Nigeria. So when the rain falls down on the earth, the crops, they grow properly. And without rain, only the sun, the crops cannot grow. So with the rain, we have we have growth of the, of the crops that we have in Nigeria. For example, we have yam, we have cocoa yam, we have rice, we have millet. These crops, they need rain. Not only crops that need rain. We humans, we need rain. Without rain, we cannot wash our clothes, we cannot cook, we cannot do anything. So the rain makes life go on. Black is beautiful. Please comment. Well, black is beautiful because it's it symbolizes the African culture, who we are, and it gives us our heritage. I am a black person in complexion, and I'm proud of it. Mr. Jumbo, please tell the judges and this audience how you feel about your father. Well, I, I feel about my father as an inspirator because he has really inspired me right from my childhood days. Let me cite an example. When I was growing up, he used to work in a railway company whereby he, he must wake up early in the morning to go to a job, to meet up the boss. So in that process, he must wake me up in the morning to fetch his water because fortunately, I'm the first son. I'm on the eldest, so I need to fetch him his water, prepare his bath, uh, prepare his food, clean up his shoes that he will use for his work. So by so doing, he enables me, invited that, that spirit of urgency to always be on time that if I must progress in life, I must be on time because without time consciousness, we'll always miss our opportunity. Now, it is my uh, honor and real privilege to announce those who will be moving on from here on. Yeah.